talent, Mind Apple, take one. Captain. The Mind Apples programme is a fantastic way of helping children and adults talk about mental health. What is really lovely about Mind Apples are the different uh, diagrams and different visuals that they, they have um, offered us to, to work with um, when we're delivering to the children. And so the children can actually grab onto something and see it. And it's, it's fun, um, it's something that then is thought provoking as well. Teaching can be quite a, a busy uh, profession that can become quite overwhelming at times. Um, so it's just important that we remind each other that we need to make sure that we're having time for ourselves to look after our own minds. Uh, well, like the children, adults also have lots of pressures, both at school and obviously in their home lives as well. So it's important that we look after our own mental health so that we are able to um, teach the pupils more effectively. So after the Mind Apples training, um, I came back to school and just talked to all of the teachers and the staff and someone came up with the idea of having a Feel Good Friday. We had some specific Mind Apples um, training for the children, talking about the Apple cards and their five Mind Apples. Um, but also throughout that day, we had opportunities for them to do things that might be one of their Mind Apples, like um, doing something arty, going out on the playground and doing some um, ac physical activities. I think they had a fantastic time and just the opportunity to think about those things that they enjoy doing that makes them feel happy and then having a chance to, to do those things, but then come back together afterwards and share what it is that they did. So we've got these beautiful little apple cards, mind apple cards, for the children to write their five mind apples on and to present those on a mind apple tree. Um, and it's a lovely thing for the children to just walk past, have a look at someone else's mind apples, give them some ideas if they're not quite sure what their mind apples are, and add them to those. Um, so they're just brilliant because it's nice visual way to, for the children to think about their minds. Not only does it help them, it, it reminds me of how I can look after my own well-being. So, um, and when we do it, the atmosphere in the classroom is always a calm one. It's an open one and it actually, um, I think it really helps contribute to um, a positive state of mind, not just for the children, but for, for the adult involved as well. Having our trained up teacher, you know, she has worked with colleagues to help them to understand the theory, understanding how the mind works, understanding how we can actually help look after the mind. Mind Apples isn't something which is on a shelf, it's something that's very active, it's something which you can take forward. And because they're going to be developing it over the years they're at the school, they will then have that as part of them that they can take on and then use into secondary and beyond. Mind Apples! Yeah, I think that Mind Apples approach is, is definitely sustainable for the children because it's quite a nice simple concept at the heart of it, thinking about those Mind Apples and the five things you do for your mind that make you feel good. And as they grow older, those five things might change, but they will still have five things that are good for their mind that make them feel good. So it's always something that they can carry on throughout their lives.